CropLife Europe represents 22 member companies that research and develop crop protection solutions for innovative and sustainable farming, supported by a network of 32 national associations. We represent over 26,000 people working in the sector who believe in the positive contribution they make to society. 2021 has been a transformational year for both CropLife Europe and our industry. Our external environment is extremely challenging and we've worked hard to ensure our contributions are well conveyed. With the addition of three new crop solution areas to our mandate, we promote the complementarity of our members' crop solutions in the European area. We have been active on many topics. Nonetheless, our annual report will focus on our main achievements. During 2021, we endeavoured to become an engaged, trusted and constructive partner in the dialogue with European stakeholders on the Farm to Fork strategy. The final European Parliament report on the strategy rightly emphasises the importance of innovative solutions in the transition to a more sustainable agriculture. To support the debate, we, together with several agri-food chain partners, commissioned an impact assessment study from Wageningen University Research on the farm-to-fork and biodiversity strategies. We believe that rigorous scientific data should be the basis of policy discussions, and we are delighted to have been able to bring this contribution at such an important time. Another big-ticket item in 2021 was the Chemical Strategy for Sustainability. It contains several initiatives which will be developed in the coming years, all of which have the potential to impact our solutions, directly and indirectly. A dedicated structure has been put in place to better respond to these new challenges, and we are well set up to continue to bring our scientific input and expertise to the table. CropLife Europe has also worked extensively to prepare for the application of the Transparency Regulation by developing Q&As for applicants, actively participating in EFSA groups and reporting to regulatory authorities any practical challenges our members face with using the newly implemented systems. With regards to legislation enforcement, we have worked closely with Europol and OLAF in Operation Silver Act 6. Between 2015 and 2021, these efforts resulted in the astounding seizure of 3,700 tonnes of counterfeit or illegal pesticides. We also continued our work with national authorities to help ensure that only authorised pesticides are traded and used, and to inform farmers how to buy authentic products. We are committed to promoting a policy framework that enables predictability and clarity for applicants seeking to bring crop protection solutions to the EU market by advocating targeted adaptation to the existing approval system. Notable contributions have been the proposal of a new biochemical pesticide guidance document, continued engagement to ensure a smoother implementation of the authorization system for PPPs and GMOs, and the EU policy on setting MRLs and accepting import tolerances to avoid unnecessary trade disruptions. This year, CropLife Europe continued our active cooperation on digital and precision agriculture with our agri-food chain partners. One big initiative we're working on is the Digital Label Compliance Project. This project aims to help farmers produce more sustainably, facilitate record-keeping, and help assure regulators and society that farmers are using pesticides in the safest and most responsible way. A big contribution to our 2030 commitments that were adopted in 2020 are our stewardship initiatives, which address the plastic waste challenge through our Clean Farms initiative and provide access to trainings through our Safe Uses and Clean Water initiatives to ensure that products are used safely and responsibly and only when necessary. Last but not least, Olivier de Matos replaced Geraldine Kutas as Director General in October 2021. We would like to extend our gratitude and thanks to her for leading Crop Life Europe and guiding the organisation through its structural changes. Olivier takes over during a fast-paced and ambitious time for the association. He can count on a very committed Crop Life Europe team and a strong network of company experts. Despite the challenges the year has thrown at us, 
we have achieved some great outcomes and set the foundations for more success in the years to come. We would like to reiterate our sincere thanks and appreciation to everyone, members, experts and partners, for all of their amazing support and resilience in the past year. We look forward to more in 2022.